Okay, so we're going to look at the Comet Antenna GP3. And the GP3 covers 2 meters to 70 centimeters. I'm going to use an, a Rig Expert uh, AA600 uh, with the Antscope or yeah, Antscope 2. Okay, so we're going to go from um, 100 kilohertz to 600 megahertz. And uh, we're just going to run this, see where it uh, dips. Uh -huh. Very interesting. A couple of places. We're interested in the 144 area, which is right here. 144, good. The frequency is 144 megahertz, SWR at 1.53, uh, and the um, Impedance is at 76 ohms. Very interesting. Okay, and then the next peak over here is at 264 megahertz. Um, be interesting to know what that um, frequency is. Uh, and the SWR is at 1.66. Here it's at 366 megahertz, 1.3. SWR, that's interesting too. Now we're getting closer to the 70 centimeters, which is 420 megahertz. Here we're at 408 megahertz and an SWR of 1.38. And the 70, cent 70 centimeter uh, band goes from 420 to 450. So it's somewhere between here and here between here and here that doesn't look that great uh, right here at 420 which is probably the beginning of the band we have an SWR of 3.19 with an impedance of 20 kind of like 27 okay so this is an idea if you're interested at the 1.25 meter uh, which is 222 two, two megahertz, right? 222 two, two is somewhere around here. There it is. 222, two, two. that's an SWR of 6.31. So I don't think that's going to be um, very useful. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is let's get close to 144 or 144 megahertz to 148 megahertz, right? And we'll do it again, we'll do 100 points. And look at that, not bad, very nice. At 100 and close to 146 megahertz, which is in the middle of the band, you have an SWR of close to one. So we go from about one point, Five four approximately, all the way to the other side to 1.33 SWR. And the ohms, the impedance, is very close to 50, right? It jumps around and stuff, but not bad. Okay, let's look at the 70 centimeter um, band here at four, 420 megahertz. So 420 megahertz to 450 megahertz. I'll also do 100 points. And there we go. Huh. Very interesting. Okay. Very interesting. So at the beginning of the band, we're at SWR of 3.17, which is not that great, but not horrible. And if we follow this for an SWR of below 2, it's around here. So 429 megahertz, um, which eats up, what, 10 megahertz, right? And then it goes up close to 2.2. 
three five um, SWR at 437 megahertz and then it starts going down uh, it seems to be the lowest point probably SWR 1.3 and a impedance absolute value of Z is 36 37 ohms practically at 400 400 and uh, 445 megahertz okay so that gives you an idea of uh, the comet antenna the GP3 it's gonna be really interesting to see how the dr. Fung antenna um, is um, I want to compare this to the dr. Fung antenna really interested to see if there's some major differences but that's for the next video